Hello everyone, welcome to Science and Tech and Environment series with Dr. Vekra. Topic for today's lecture is from Biodiversity section. There is a species which is dominating headlines and we will try to decode what exactly it is. So Lantana camara, which happens to be an invasive species, is threatening the almost 40% of tiger habitats in India. So it's an alarming sign because we all know India has been doing reasonably well in tiger conservation and our tiger count has jumped from 2200 to almost 3000. So India is one among few countries which has achieved its TX2 target. So today we are we will be focusing on what this plant species exactly is. First of all, uh, the reason I have just highlighted why it is in news because it has been seen that the species is multiplying aggressively and almost dominating forest ecosystems where mainly the tiger habitat is. Specifically, there are few tiger reserves which have been mentioned and they are quite a famous one. Bandipur in Madhya Pradesh, there is Palamu in Jharkhand and then we have Andheri Tadoba in Maharashtra and Simli Pal Sakoshia in Odisha. These are the specific forest regions or you could say the tiger reserves where Lantana Canara is slowly and aggressively trying to dominate the entire ecosystem. So this is why this species is in news. So first of all, uh, this species is not native to India. Whenever I am using the word invasive species, first of all, let's decode what exactly is an invasive species. So it's an environmental concept uh, which we cover in our class lectures as well. Invasive species is any species which is not native to the specific region. Generally, it is introduced from outside the country, but it's not hard and fast rule. If a country is a large one, there is a possibility that you might have accidentally introduced from one region to another. And once it is introduced, it reproduces, multiplies aggressively and almost dominates the ecosystem, threatening the local species which are representing that ecosystem. And moreover, they pose a threat to wild animal species, which is a grave concern because a lot of animals at times find these species allergic to them, at times they are even toxic to them, causing uh, total disruption in food chain. In case of Lantana camara, there are documented cases that a lot of herbivores which are feeding on this plant face uh, have allergic concerns and even diarrhea and some deaths have even been reported. So basically it becomes a competitor of normal shrubs which are growing in that region which are more or less consumed by those herbivores and once the herbivore population will decline the top carnivore or you can say the keystone species which we are trying to preserve in these reserves or national parks they also get threatened because there is a disruption in food chain so this is where the, the control strategy comes into the picture there are two basic ways through which this specific species can be controlled the first and foremost is that you could just remove, uh, remove these species from its root section. Because once you cut off the roots, the species will not grow. Otherwise, it's a fast multiplicating species. If you are just cutting the leaves, it's not going to be of much help. Even though uh, in an aesthetic sense, it's quite an attractive uh, plant. It has yellow, purple and pink color feather, uh, uh, colors, petals, which makes it quite an ornamental plant. It's native to tropical America. It was introduced in 1800 in India for gardens, but since then it has moved from garden to forested areas and now is posing threat to our biodiversity. In the world, it is counted among the, among the 10 worst invasive species from plant center. An invasive species could be even an animal also, but here we are focusing on plants. So this is and the second angle is a biological control. There is a specific insect or you can say a bug which is called Lantana haze. So this is a Mexican bug which feed voraciously on leaves of this specific plant and it is a way. So it is being tried in Bandipur, Tiger Reserve as well as in the Orissa. So it has got a moderate success. So this is another way of controlling. The both methods can be combined to control this invasive species. 
so make sure any invasive species whenever is in news you are covering that because in 2018 uh, or 19 paper there was one scientific name which was given and the uh, answer was invasive species only so this is once again a species which is in news and that's why we are highlighting it even though it's a biological scientific name lantana kemara and it's a you can say it's a weed which is growing in our forest ecosystem and it needs to be controlled before it's too late because india's tiger success story is one which we all proud of you cannot let just go a weed or invasive species you know, threaten this is all we have for uh, the today's lecture from uh, which is related to biodiversity uh, i hope this session was useful and you got some new inputs regarding this plant if in case you don't know about it uh, so thank you very much keep preparing on have a nice